I just finished dry fitting all the different pieces, the wings, setting the angle. I drilled two holes here and this is the one that has been tightened and when everything is uh, satisfactory, when the angle is right, when it's turned the way it should, then I would put the other bolt in here. So, this is how it looks with a hand spin. The wings are like three feet tall, and the whole setup is three feet. I guess three and a half feet off the ground not too high but then of course I didn't mean for this to be put on the roof or something like that this is just gonna be where the basketball hole is turns pretty smoothly I will anchor these uh, steel tubings to the ground and I will put a couple of pieces of board similar to the setup here put a few bolts here and put the rectifiers here or if I choose to rectify the AC from another uh, location I can do that these are the three phases so I was thinking originally of using heavier gauge uh, or wider uh, tubing, but this is actually sufficient when it is uh, anchored to the ground and when the whole thing is balanced. So this is like 60 RPM already. Yeah, looking good. The only problem I had is with the aluminum flashing. The row that I got is not really wide enough. So I would have to join the seams with... Ooh, that's a big B. Join the seams with some rivets here. That's just cosmetic and it wouldn't really affect the performance. I could actually use some very stiff fabric to uh, to make the wings now this huge bee or whatever thing it is okay Yeah, pretty good. I'm happy with it. A bit more work to do, but at least it's uh, going as planned. These arms are actually garden uh, stakes. They're like a pretty thick gauge, so and it's ripped, so it shouldn't bend. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some tension wire. There's a little hook here. I can run a piece of wire up here to here, so that the upper part wouldn't flex. Uh, this bolt here has just uh, one bearing. This is like suspended in the middle. But these are very heavy duty bearings, I'm sure, made by or um, uh, installed by uh, Belgrade Machine. There are two bearings, one uh, on the top, one on the bottom. I don't know how often you need to lubricate them. I'm probably going to make like a shield on top here so that it is not directly under the weather. Yep, stand back a little bit.
Okay, this is a 12 magnet, 9 coil setup. These are half inch magnets. The half inch thick, one inch square. They're pretty heavy duty. The uh, rotor plates are, looks like at least a quarter inch. Pretty heavy duty. And again, there's the, uh, the rotor is rotor and the bolt assembly is by Belgrade Machine, stated by Goofy Wind, and I'm the one that's putting it together, unfortunately. Very smooth. Just need some brazing on the top and on the bottom. It probably won't turn as fast when I put the skin on, but it shouldn't be too far off. <laughs> 